The weekend went from a mysterious underground voice in Toronto to a full-on star boy in less than just a matter of years. Now currently Abel has three number one hits on Billboard, eight top 10 hits, three Grammys and over 100 million records sold worldwide, making him one of the top selling artists in the world. But recently The weekend he shocked fans not with new music, but with his style. Now Abel, he debuted a new look that had many fans a little confused, but the moment it did give us memes that we've been looking for. You know, it was getting a little stale on the internet, and now all of a sudden everyone's cracking up. And I don't think it's for the right reasons. Now in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the weekend's transformation from unknown singer to superstar. And uh, well, we'll be looking at how he's changed along the way. There's not a lot of people who can go from what the hell is that on your head to what the hell is that on your lip in record time. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden hitting you with a video series we've titled Before and After. Now usually my girlfriend, she actually hosts this series on our second channel, Famous Entertainment, and that channel's actually been blowing up. It's getting tons of views, tons of subs. So if you're into these transformation type videos or more celebrity based content, be sure to head on over there and hit subscribe. Join the fame gang, we be growing in two places. Actually, we also have a Spanish channel, so make it three. But uh, be sure to check it out guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. Also, I look really weird with a pink background, don't you think? Tess Fay was born on February 16th, 1990 in Toronto, Canada. Now he's the son of Ethiopian immigrants and he fell in love with music early on in his life. Now Michael Jackson, he became one of his earliest influences with Abel citing Don't Stop Till You Get Enough as the song that helped him find his voice. Now if you're wondering if The Weeknd always had crazy hair, well wonder no more. Here's a picture of young Abel with a shaved head. It really is like seeing a superhero without their mask on. And we also found this picture where The Weeknd's hair looks more like he's going for a Bruno Mars look than the style he ended up landing with. Or is it landing on? I guess it landed on him, I don't know. But no matter what his hair looked like, his music sounded amazing. Now with a newly found voice, The Weeknd he began to experiment with melodies and started writing autobiographical lyrics while he was still in high school. Now if you're wondering if he was a lady killer back in the day, well actually my former co-host Amber Smith, she went to high school with Abel. Shout outs to Abel. Well, it turns out he wasn't much of a lady killer, according to Amber. That's off the record. Well, not anymore. He soon realized what he wanted in life and he dropped out of school. Now, after dropping out, the weekend he began to create a signature sound with dark lyrics, eerie beats, and undeniable melodies. In 2011, he released House of Balloons to critical acclaim, and that album's actually based on a house that's not far from where we filmed these videos. It's like five minutes away. I can walk there. With songs like High For This, The Morning, and Wicked Games, well he built up a loyal audience who related to his work. Now fans were dying to know more about who the singer was, and many didn't even know what he looked like at the time. It was just his voice they connected with. So people were pretty eerie. Now 2011 was a very different time. I mean there was no Instagram or nothing. I am nothing without my following. I am nothing without my following. Now his star would rise when fellow Canadian superstar Drake spotted his talent and brought him to work together on some songs for his 2011 magnum opus project, Take Care. Now in 2011, The weekend, he was rocking the early stages of his most popular haircut. Now it seems like he still had the side fades, but it was starting to grow out at the top. Now here it is grown out even more fully. And as The weekend began to have his face out in the public more and more, well his hair, it just couldn't stop growing. It wouldn't stop till he get enough. Oh, no. That's a joke from the Michael Jackson song that inspired his career. Maybe it inspired his hair. Now the weekend he released Trilogy in 2012, which was a compilation of his three mixtapes. Now here is his hair a little bit further grown out, but beginning to take shape as his signature style. Now during the Kissland era, which was his next album that dropped in 2013, well his hair it was fully formed. And this kind of feels like the weekend's second Pokemon phase, you know what I mean? Now this became the weekend's signature style and he was known as much for his hair as he was for his beautiful vocals. Now everyone was wondering how he was able to keep it standing up. Now I still sometimes wonder that to this day. I actually looked up a tutorial online and a guy kind of explained it. It's pretty simple. These are freeform dreads, you know? They're a lot different from just regular dreadlocks that you twist all the time. And when he dropped his album Beauty Behind the Madness in 2015, it's when The Weeknd became a full-blown superstar. His song Earned It became a massive hit that was featured on the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack. And before long, well, every mother in America knew who he was. 
And once you're known in those circles, well, there's no going back. Sorry, she understands. She likes him. It's I fine. I like him. Yeah. It's Everything fine. about him. Except for the tree hair. Now, The weekend was used to dropping cult classics where he talked about drugs and women, but he was performing these same lyrics at award shows and having his work played on the radio. Now, it honestly must have come as a little bit of a shock for him. I mean, there was no escaping the public, and the paparazzi, they would talk about him having a bit of a dad bod. I'm no man to judge. All of a sudden, more hits would come, like The Hills and I Can't Feel My Face, and quickly he started receiving comparisons to his former inspiration. Of course, I'm talking about the king of pop. Now the album, it won a Grammy for Best Urban Contemporary Album, and it sold over 3 million copies, making it certified triple platinum. It was also that same year that The weekend he began dating model Bella Hadid, which elevated his profile even more. Now, if you spotted The weekend out in a rare public appearance during this time period, he was most likely wearing all black from head to toe, and he had his hair perfectly lined but he did step up his style and he began to wear a lot of black suits to big events. Now there was a little bit of a, an insecurity there about his weight. That's when you start wearing all black. I've done it here on the show. I'm just saying that black is slimming and I'm looking good. Now unfortunately for this couple, well, you know, they broke up. And now we have the Starboy era. Now the weekend he returned to the public eye and he was now working with Daft Punk. Them men don't show their faces, but Abel, he's got to. So of course he went and shed a lot of weight. But even more noticeable was the change in his new look. Yeah, the guy went ahead and he cut off the top of his head, or his hair. And all of a sudden people were like, I didn't know he was so handsome. I love it, I think he looks so handsome. He even performed at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show in front of his ex-girlfriend, which I'm sure was a little awkward for multiple reasons. Now, if you're curious how he lost the weight, well, it was reported that Abel, he would go to these spas located in LA and New York, and he would lay under an ultra red light and he would just sweat. That's right, he would sweat out the weight. He found it very relaxing and, uh, well, it's a lot easier than, you know, running. So good for him. His next relationship was with Selena Gomez. The two were even spotted together on a yacht by paparazzi. And, uh, well, there was more public appearances. It was actually Selena who encouraged him to lose an additional 25 LBs. There was also a spotting of the weekend in Toronto where he was wearing a toque. And it's a little weird to see him with a hat on. You just want to know what's going on under there. He also signed a sponsorship deal with Puma and he started repping their gear. And all of a sudden you'd see him wearing Puma all over the place, which is kind of athletic wear. So the guy had to stay slim and trim. But Selena and The weekend, they would eventually break up. And then we got new music from Abel that seemed like he was, well, pretty hurt. Now he dropped the My Dear Melancholy in 2018 and many suspected he was talking about Selena on a couple of songs. Now the album cover, it didn't reveal much of The weekend's face and we couldn't see what type of hairstyle he was rocking on it. And uh, well that brings some of us to the mystery that initially helped spark his buzz. But Bella and Abel, they ended up getting back together for a short period of time, but recent reports say that the two, they're no longer together. So with a fresh breakup, of course we're gonna get a fresh new style from The weekend. Throughout every era of The weekend, one thing has remained consistent, his beard. Now The weekend, he has never stepped outside without a fresh lineup that's cut perfectly. That is until September of 2019. That's the month when everything changed. The weekend stepped out onto the red carpet of the Toronto Film Festival, but many fans had to double take to make sure they were looking at the artist they know as The weekend. Now the premiere was for Adam Sandler's film, Uncut Gems, where Abel makes his feature film debut. But it seems like The weekend was taking style tips from Adam Sandler himself because he came out rocking a brand new moustache and also a navy suit. But everyone was talking about that god lovely moustache. I just love to say, god awful moustache is what I meant to say. Oh his hair, it also had a new shape. He's rocking more of an afro instead of his previous cut. I, I missed it. I was looking at that moustache. So it appears we are in a new era of the weekend. We got a new haircut, we got a fresh breakup, a new style, which means, well, we might be seeing some new music. So let's look forward to that. Anyways, guys, you let me know what you think about the weekend's moustache. Should I get a moustache for myself? Is he just in time for November? I guess so. Or he's a little ahead of the curve. He's just trying to rock it out with Adam Sandler. He looks older, don't you think? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Also, if you like these before and after videos, when we get into the girls, they're a little more juicy because them girls be getting a lot of work done. So that's why you gotta go over to the second channel, Famous Entertainment, all your favorite celebrities. We've talked about what they may or may not have gotten done. 
A lot of them got a lot done, you know what I mean? Go over there, subscribe, we'll see you guys in another video. Boom!